When recruiting blood donors, it's often said that one donation can help save the lives of three to four different patients. How is that true? It's because the blood center can separate the whole blood donation into three or four different, potentially life-saving products. The bags are delivered to the component production lab for processing. This is where units of whole blood are separated into red blood cells, platelets, cryoprecipitate, and plasma. This allows blood from a single donor to be used for several patients who have different needs. Blood is separated by using a centrifuge, a process in which the blood is rapidly spun so the heavier red blood cells and plasma will separate. A second spin settles the platelets and the plasma can be removed to isolate the platelets. Cryoprecipitate, a protein in the plasma, also requires a second spin to separate it from the plasma. Once the centrifuge is balanced and loaded, the bags are spun as specified by the product needed. When the bags are removed, the components have settled in layers with red blood cells at the bottom and platelet-rich plasma at the top. A thin line of white blood cells and platelets is also visible at the top of the red blood cells. After separating platelet-rich plasma from the red blood cells, the PRP is put back in the centrifuge for a spin at a longer period of time. This causes the platelets to settle to the bottom of the bag. The plasma is then expressed into a separate bag. This process manufactures two products, random donor platelets and plasma. They're called random donor platelets because this product must be pooled with other whole blood donors to create a dose of platelets for a patient. The component tech uses an expressor to continue the process of separating components. Bags are individually placed in the expressor immediately after they're spun in the centrifuge. The expressor squeezes the bag tightly so the liquid at the top of the bag flows through the sterile tubing into a separate bag intended for the other component. Every step in the process is completed and documented according to SOP and captured in LifeTech. An additive solution of sugars and salts is added to the bag to preserve the viability of the cells. A heat seal is used to permanently separate the new bag from the rest of the whole blood unit. Depending on inventory levels and patient need, collection staff will be instructed to use either triple bags or quad bags. A triple bag makes it possible to make red blood cells, platelets, and fresh frozen plasma. A quad bag allows for production of red blood cells, platelets, cryoprecipitate, and plasma. The bags provide a sterile closed system that is used throughout the entire component production process. White blood cells are removed from whole blood using a process called leukoreduction. Leukoreduction can be achieved either by using a bag that contains an inline filter at the time of collection, or by connecting a leukoreduction filter to the whole blood unit in the component production lab. Aside from component production, testing vials from donor centers and mobile blood drives are sent to MVRBC's viral, bacterial, and nucleic acid laboratories for testing. After being spun, expressed, and separated, individual component units are labeled and held until they're cleared for release by the testing labs. Once cleared for release, components are labeled for distribution to hospitals, patients, and communities in need.